The Adam Project, out on Netflix, the second collaboration between director Sean Levi and actor Ryan Reynolds after the pretty good free guy. Uh, and it seems that they really like working with one another because uh, the news just broke that Levi will be the director of Deadpool 3, which is also starring uh, Reynolds, obviously. This film also stars Walker Scobell, Mark Ruffalo, Jennifer Garner, Zoe Saldana and Catherine Keener. It's a science fiction adventure film centering about centering around time travel. The story starts with Ryan Reynolds traveling back from 2050 to 2018 in search for, for his wife Zoe Saldana, who went missing somehow in that year. However, due to a malfunction, he lands in 2022 instead, where he meets his 12-year-old self. Um, they then have to team up to avoid the bad guys from the future who are trying to chase down Reynolds, to go back to 2018 in hopes of saving the, the wife, and also to team up with their father, Mark Ruffalo, and save the world, essentially. I know it sounds a bit convoluted, but the plot does get out of hand pretty quickly. The stakes grow, and by the end of it, it does get pretty world-ending. Right, so first things first. Um, in any time travel movie, the important thing for me personally, as a nerd, is whether a film sets up logical rules Whatever they may be, they just have to make sense internally, and then proceeds to follow them. And the Adam Project is pretty awful in this regard. Uh, at the beginning it seems to establish a bunch of specific rules, but then as time goes on, it forgets some of them, it adds new ones, it ignores others, and by the end it gets rather nonsensical. Um, and unfortunately that stupidity extends beyond just time travel itself. Um, characters start behaving in dumb ways, the mechanics of the entire final set piece are just all out of whack, uh, there is magnetism involved and it just hurt my brain to watch the film demolish all the rules of physics. So on this logical, mechanical front, the movie is pretty bad. It does however shine in other aspects, mainly in using Ryan Reynolds as its star. Um, he plays himself, as usual, but he gets away with it, as usual. Uh, because he is undeniably charming and has great chemistry with everybody. Uh, most notably in this film, Walker Scobell, who is very good at the younger version of as the younger version of Reynolds, uh, and Mark Ruffalo, with whom they have some wonderful banter. Um, at the heart of the film, there's also you know family and grief and healing trauma and repairing relationship and relationships and being there for one another. Uh, problem is. There is, there was just a little bit too much going on here, I feel. There's Adam and his father, there's Adam and his mother, there's young Adam and his mother, there's Adam and young Adam, there's Adam and his wife. And I felt that because there's so many relationships, um, none of them are really properly explored in, in ways that would be satisfying. Um, most of them are just skimmed through, particularly Adam and his wife. That's just very short and shallow and the entire inclusion of Zoe Saldana in the film just felt largely underwhelming. Um, she only shows up for a short time, which then leads to an action slash sacrifice sequence, which was so boring and it didn't really. I felt it didn't accomplish anything, so uh, you know. Also, for a sci fi adventure film, the movie doesn't really look very exciting. Uh, large parts of it takes, takes place, take place in the same forest area or in buildings, which makes the scope of the film feel very small and boring. Uh, and I wouldn't mind that if, if the film focused more on the philosophy of time travel, uh, or, or that part of the story, or the relationships, but it's clear that it wants to be primarily an action-adventure movie instead, and at that it's just simply not very good. So to sum all of this up, Ryan Reynolds does exactly what you expect, he has great chemistry with other stars, but other than that, there's very little to recommend about the film. To me, the emotional core was simply not strong enough to offset the underwhelming action and the rather dumb plot.